All right, this is going to be a basically a beginner's lesson in SEO um, while also learning how I conduct my audits. So um, feel free to take notes, feel free to pause and go back. Um, and then just let me know on what, you, let me know what questions you have and we can schedule a time to go over this. Um, all right, so the very first thing, um, this is a client that I am doing an audit for right now. Um, you do not need access to their website to do an audit, but there are some tools that um, I will share with you that will help you do that. And I'll show you how those work um, and how I use them uh, in this video. So very first thing, this screen right here is the very top of her website. So as you can see, you can scroll down, but this is the very top of it. This is what we call the, um, or this is what we call above the fold. Um, so when clients land on this or when web users land on this, you want it to be really clear right away what this website's about and what action you want them to take. So SEO is not only about search engine optimization, it's also about user optimization as well, um, because that's essentially what converts website users to customers. So not only are we trying to drive traffic to websites, but we're also trying to convert that traffic as well. And that's what this is a part of. So the very first step that I look for in my audits is website structure. Um, and the first thing just from top to bottom is looking at the header. So this is good. Um, typically what I recommend, and this is a smaller website, I don't recommend having social links in the header. Uh, because the whole goal is to keep people on your website to help them make a decision rather than redirecting them off. So if you see this in an audit or you see this on a website you're doing an audit for, that's the very first thing I always recommend to take out. Um, and the template that I have for audits, I typically will have this as an option to add in. Um, this is a copy of one that I'm using, so I will need to add this in there. All right, the next thing, um, sometimes websites will not have um, this button here. So if they don't have a button, I always recommend adding a CTA. In this case, this website gets a thumbs up for adding a CTA here. All right, uh, the first tool that I like using for my audits is called um, SEO Meta <clears throat> in one click. It is a toolbar. Um, so I think if you're using Chrome on your iPad, I think that you can download it to the toolbar, but I'm not 100% sure. So we may need to find a workaround for this. Um, but this shows me the back end of the website without having to actually log into it. So the very first thing that you'll notice is that there is a really short title to the website, to this web page, and there is no description. So that's going to be something that I'm going to mark down in my audit. And then you're gonna click over to headers. Now, what headers are is the text that Google reads that helps it crawl your website. So when, a, when Google crawls your website, you want it to be really clear what your website is about so that it knows where to rank you. Now, looking at these, you really just want one H1 per web page, And um, the H2s, <clears throat> you know, you can have three to four of them. And then ideally, you want this to look like an outline. So you would have your H1, an H2, then an H3, and then an H4. So in this case, we see an H1 with a bunch of H4s that really don't really add anything to the outline. And then same with the H2s, they don't add anything to the outline of the website. And this also doesn't tell us what this website is about. So the recommendation I'm going to make for this website is to update the headers. And I'm going to give her recommendations in the audit on what that looks like. Um, so we'll go into this in a different lesson, but this is just kind of an overview so that you start knowing what to look for on a website and what these things do. So make note on what you have questions on or what you want to learn more on, and I'll make sure to include them in another lesson. All righty. Um, so I will make note of that in the um, audit as well. 
Um, so there isn't really anything else. I do like to double check that these links all work. So it does look like I'm being redirected to her calendar. So I'm just going to double check that all of these work. Ooh, see, so that was something right there. Um, we want to make sure that that opens in another window. Um, because I again, you want people to stay on this website as long as you can. So I'll make the recommendation that this be moved to open in a separate window. Same with this one, um, especially since it leads off of the main website. We don't want that. So, okay. Scrolling down. Um, so this is where your H2s should be. Um, this isn't bad, but I would add a header, like another main header to this. Um, for instance, like reasons to hire a, or how to hire a virtual bookkeeper or something along that line, um, you know, maybe benefits of hiring that and then just, you know, adjust this. So I'll make some recommendations here on this, but the biggest thing is that you want to make sure that the client that you're working on is that it's really, really easy for their website visitors to make a decision. Um, so again, this is one of the H2s. I would say, I'm going to, I would change this to about Mary Faber, the virtual bookkeeper. Um, and then this would stay the same or even recommend that she use this um, as her H2 and then just basically swap that um, and just add this as regular text. Um, overall, the structure of the website's really good. I would add a header here with testimonials. Yeah, that way, again, Google knows um, what these are. Um, this is really good, ditch the stress. Um, I would add services here, maybe like virtual bookkeeping services as a header. That way, again, Google knows what this website's about. She does do a really good job with buttons throughout the website and then the footer. Um, these are all, this is all really good. So she's got the form. She has the um, social links at the bottom. Um, overall, this is really easy. This is just a one page website. Um, so this is all there is to this. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, again, just make note of them and let me know. And then we can go over this in more detail um, in a separate call or a separate video.